In this video, we'll uh, follow up from the previous example and reverse the order of integration when we set up the integral of a function over a circular sector region. Here, the bounds of the region are x squared plus y squared is 1, and then this line here, y equal to x, and this line here, y or uh, the x-axis where y is equal to 0. Uh, if you haven't watched the previous video, I suggest you do so because in the previous video we did the order of integration in a particular way and in this one I want to try to do it in this order here, dy and then dx as the outer uh, um, integral. We will see, however, that it will take more than one integral to calculate this. This won't be as nice as the previous order of integration, so do watch the previous one first. Now, in order to uh, figure out what the limits of integration should be, because I have x as an outer integral, I'm going to look at my picture and see what range of values x seems to move between, and it moves between x equal to 0 and x equal to 1. As long as I'm trapped in between here, all of my region is trapped in between those two vertical lines. However, now, what I want to do is think about a generic slice of this region, and the problem is, is the, over here I see one sort of slice where it enters along the x-axis and x exits along the diagonal line here. And that says my y value should enter at 0 and exit at x. However, there's another vertical slice over here where they enter at y equal to 0 and exit at the circle. And when I'm on that slice, I'm seeing my y value start at 0 and exit when y is equal to the square root of 1 minus x squared. I'm taking the unit circle equation and solving it for y. That means I'm going to have two different values of x corresponding to each of those vertical lines that I've drawn. They change right when x is equal to 1 over root 2. So that's right at that intersection point. And so this formula over here is valid when x is between 0 and 1 1 over root 2, and then this formula over here is valid when x is to the right of that, when it's between 1 over root 2 and right there when x is equal to 1. And in practice what this means is to calculate this double integral here, I'm in fact going to have to calculate it as a sum of two integrals. So the first integral will correspond to these limits of integration, and that's telling you how to integrate over this triangular region here will then add it to the second limits of integration, the integral formed by those, and that's the region you get by integrating over this little slice of the circle sitting right here. And we add their results together, and we'll get the same value that we would get if we use the limits of integration in the previous video.